Uh, hello again everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're revisiting custom camera views in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. So very warm welcome to you wherever you are in the world. Hit like, hit subscribe, share your thoughts, any tips and tricks as well as always down in the comments below. We'll dive straight into the menu and you want to head to your controls page, go to keyboard. Once you're here, you want to navigate to the camera section and then expand the cockpit camera menu and scroll all the way down until you see load custom cameras 1 to 9 and save custom cameras 1 to 9. Now it's really important that you get this set up correctly and that they don't clash with other things. So once you've gone ahead and you've set them up as required it'll allow you to then load in various custom views just like before in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So we have the keybinds for saving our custom views and our keybinds for loading those custom views. They're both ready to go. Go back, save and back, back. Then we can dive into the jet and uh, this is a tip that was shared on a live stream a few weeks ago which blew my mind because you now don't need to go into the aircraft.config code, fiddle around, minus 40 with some of the numbers save it, reboot the thing, all of that gumph. Now you can do it in the sim in minutes. So we are in this captain's kind of pilot view. Translate your view all the way across to the far wall and then using the drop down open the camera tab, expand pilot and select co-pilot and bam we're outside. There's me. It's not really, it looks, it looks nothing like me. But we are now outside the aircraft. Go ahead and set a custom camera view up by selecting a keybind that you've set. For instance, Control Alt 0 for me. And then you can go ahead and go back to pilot mode like so. Now if you press Control and zero, or Alt 0, however you've set your keybind to load custom view, we snap outside and we can then begin to walk around to set your custom views up as required. Uh, so for this to move the camera effortlessly just as a reminder for keybinds, it all entirely depends on your hardware, right? So we've got increased cockpit view height, translate cockpit view forwards, or on my joystick, translate cockpit view forward, view right, view backwards, and view left. And then the up and down allows me to go up and down on my keyboard, the up arrow, the down arrow, and then on my HOTAS, clicking it forwards, walks forwards, clicking it right, walks right, clicking it back, moves back, clicking it left, moves back, uh, left, and then I can use the mouse press and hold right to kind of pan that view around. And you can basically walk and set whatever custom views you want at that point. If you go into the cabin for any reason, then that's okay. Just go and reset to a custom view that you've saved outside of the environment again. You might find, like we've done here, is you'll walk down and all of a sudden you can't get any further. That's okay. Just go ahead and set another keybind. For example, I've just resaved Control Alt Zero. Reset the view. Alt Zero to reload where you've just saved, and it'll then allow you to walk past that invisible block that you had. And then that lets you set a whole load of beautiful custom views wherever you want, in and around and on top of the aeroplane including a flight sim favourite, the good old taxi camera. And that is it. Six minutes, 
super easy way of sorting out your custom views for all of your aeroplanes in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.